In this review video, I'd like to talk about this frame combo kit that Banggood.com has sent me that I've been flying over the past couple of weeks. Now, this is actually um, a QAV250 carbon fiber frame with um, Emacs 2204 motors. So these came in the kit at 12 amp Simon K flash ESCs, and it also included the CC3D as well. So it pretty much came with everything so that you could put it together and fly out the box. Now, this is actually mine that I've been flying around for a couple of weeks. So I've added a Mobius to the camera mount on the front. I've added some FPV equipment. So we have a flight camera underneath the Mobius and we have a transmitter at the back. But apart from that, um, everything else that you see here actually came as part of the kit. So if you have a spare receiver, but you're looking to get into 250 class quads and you are like me, you're not sure about what motors and props you should be getting to go with everything so that you have all the pieces you need, this is a fantastic option. So let me say at the top of the video, very big thank you for banggood.com for sending me this to try. Um, I was one of those people, I've been flying 330 and 450 class quads for a long time now. Um, I started to use a CC3D on a 330 class quadcopter and loved it. And um, Banggood were very kind and actually sent me this kit so that I could try this out. And now I've been flying it for a couple of weeks, I have to say, I absolutely love it. I think it's a fantastic model and it's a great way to get into 250 racing quads without breaking the bank. It comes in one cardboard box that's about 10 and a half by eight and a half inches and about two inches deep. Now that box has everything in there that you need to actually put the quad together and get it flying with the exception of a radio receiver. It actually comes with the battery, it comes with the CC3D, the cable ties, it comes with the four speed controllers, four motors, the props, and even comes with the frame and a bag of bits that includes the connector for the battery, the wires to connect to the power distribution board, and heat shrink and other pieces as well. So by getting this, you uh, will be able to, with one purchase, get all the pieces you need to put a 250 class quad together. Now I've documented the build and programming of the CC3D for this frame in the first two videos of my CC3D series. So if you haven't watched those already, if you watch those two videos, it will show you how to take all of those individual elements, put them together, wire up all of the pieces, program and put the CC3D on, connect it up to your receiver, and by the end of the second video, you'll be able to have your first test flight. I'll link to those two videos in the description so that you can go and watch them and follow along if that's something that you're interested in. Let's talk about the good things about the frame. Uh, it's a three millimeter carbon fiber on the arms and they seem pretty resilient to be fair. I've uh, had a couple of little um, rough landings, should we say, and they've taken it very, very well indeed. The main uh, deck plates are about one and a half millimeter carbon fiber. As you can tell, it's got a nice shine on the carbon fiber. It's decent quality. The edges aren't burred, but I would just make sure when you're putting it together that you're going around the edge with just a very little bit of sandpaper to make sure it's completely burr free. We have a deck plate at the bottom uh, that actually has the um, power distribution board. Then we have the main bottom plate and the main top plate that holds the camera mount, vibration isolating, and the battery on top. Now, each of these pillars that hold the frame together are aluminium, they're red anodized. And um, one of the things that you'll need when you're putting the frame together is you will need a two millimeter Allen key to screw in the bolts. And the only other thing you'll need is a 5.5 millimeter uh, driver or um, a pair of pliers to actually nip up each of these locking bolts on the main four structural struts that um, connect the arms to the body itself. When it's together, it is fantastically rigid and uh, because of its light weight, it does take crashes very well. So let's just talk about the weight. Even with all of this gubbins on for FPV, it still only weighs 568 grams. Now it's under 500 without all the FPV equipment on. So it's a very light little model. And for someone like me that's coming to 250s from the world of 450 and 330 class quads, 
it has very little inertia and it is very nippy. I'm getting anywhere between eight and a half to 10 minutes flight time on a 2200 milliamp hour pack with this setup and it's hovering just over half throttle. And it's got lots of power to um, arrest a very speedy descent if I blip the throttle. So it's very nice to fly and it's a good setup and combo. I'm sure there are others out there who um, will, uh, will want more power or longer flight times, but I think this is a great compromise. And the nice thing about this frame and this kit is that for someone like me that's coming to 250 and this is the first 250 I've ever built, not being sure about which motors I need, the prop sizes that has to go with that, how that matches up with the speed controller size, what additional elements I need in terms of the wires, the cables, the connectors, having that all provided as one kit has been a fantastic way to do it and has made it very pain free. If you watch those two videos, you'll see uh, this actual frame being put together um, and tried out. Nice features on here um, that kind of show that whoever designed this frame has put some thought into it is that there are a couple of structural bolts, these long red aluminium ones here that hold the top plate to the bottom plate. And that bottom plate is actually covered by this um, plate here that actually holds the speed control, the power distribution board that connects the speed controllers. Each of the bolts for these four pillars are accessible through holes that have been drilled into the bottom plate. So it's really easy to just keep those bolts nipped up and to make sure that the vibration of you flying around isn't getting anything to come loose. The CC3D is a fantastic controller for a new starter. I think this is a kit for somebody who is new to 250 or somebody who has never built a quadcopter is a great option. The CC3D is a piece of cake to program and also does a great job of flying even on the default PID configuration settings, which is how I've got this set at the moment. On one of my very first flights, I hadn't nipped up the bolts on this front motor and watching the video back I couldn't quite understand why uh, you can't see this prop in the uh, Mobius's field of view why you could see this one. Part of the reason was three of the four bolts had actually come out of the, of the arm, the last one was only held in by about three threads and the whole motor, motor was actually tilted backwards as it was trying to fly off the arm. Now that was my fault, and um, I would always recommend if you're building this, is actually if you get yourself some nut or stud locker and just smear a little bit on all of the bolts, um, the metal bolts and screws that are going into something metal. So each of these bolts that go into the pillars and the screws that hold the battery um, motor on the bottom, just use that thread lock to give you that extra little bit of safety. But the point of the story is, even with this motor tilted back and rocking violently on this arm, the CC3D coped with it beautifully and still gave me a fantastic flying experience. So um, kind of a good thing in one way in that even with uh, a motor misbehaving, the CC3D was able to control the model and give me a nice flight. A bad thing in one way in that um, I was very lucky that I spotted it and brought it into land before the last bolt popped out and I've had a real problem. There is lots of room on this frame. You can um, hopefully see it if we kind of look down the side. So here's the CC3D in the middle. The power distribution board is underneath it. Uh, we have the room for mounting the battery on the top. My receiver is actually stuck there. Uh, the reason is, is that I wanted the um, room for the FPV equipment at the back, but we've got enough room for the aerials to stick out the side without any problem. We have loads of room on the back deck for my FPV transmitter. And of course it has the mount at the front for my actual FPV camera. So I fly with this one and the Mobius records it. So again, all of that FPV equipment is something that I've added, but hopefully you can see that it all fits beautifully on this frame. And it actually, even with my clumsy building skills has made a nice, neat result. I think if I was building it again, I would. the only thing I would probably change would be having the power cable for the battery coming out of the back of the power distribution board rather than the side because these props go in pretty close into the middle as with all 250 class quads. So actually having it anywhere but coming 
through the middle of the frame means that it's in danger of getting caught and cut by the props. So in summary, I would say if you are looking at getting a 250 class quad, this is a great option. It means that you don't have to worry about the motors, the props and buying everything in one go. There are obviously much more expensive uh, models on the market, things like blackouts and others, but I love the idea that for less than the cost of that one frame, you can actually get everything you need to either build your first quadcopter or get into 250 quad racing and FPVing without having to break the bank. So this whole kit was actually less than something like a blackout frame on its own. So thanks again for watching. Hopefully that's interesting for those of you that are looking at it. Don't forget, if you want to see how this frame went together, you can watch it in the two first videos of the CC3D series on the channel. And thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and as always, happy flying.